it's Stephanie and I am back with a makeup haul video. I am so excited to be filming this video because I have been wanting to go shopping for makeup for a while and I have been needing a couple items and then I also want to try a couple items. So I'm so excited to show you guys so that I can start planning it and planning my makeup and stuff like that. So I did go to Mac, the Mac counter at Macy's like a week or so ago and then I went to Ulta with a friend of mine yesterday and then also I went to Target and Walmart to pick up a couple more items so I decided to do a haul for you guys so I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into the haul and like I said the first place I went was Mac and here's the bag I love Mac whenever I have a little extra money I like to go in Mac to pick up some items and I initially went in there for a new lipstick that will match my skin shade my skin tone and the, the sales lady suggested that I try this color and this is in the color spirit and it looks like this it's a really really pretty nude color for me and I'm going to go ahead and try to swatch it for you guys so that's how it looks and I think this is a satin finish, so I love um, I love the satin finishes, and I also love matte finishes, but this is a really, really pretty nude. And then I also wanted to try a lip liner that would match this, and she suggested that I try the lip liner in cork. And it's just a dark brown lip liner, and I'm going to swatch that next to this so you can kind of see how that combo looks. It's a really pretty combo. I tried it on in the store. And it looked so pretty together. So I am so excited to wear this a new lip. I don't think I ever really wore a new lip before. I'm always into like color, pop of color lips. So I am so excited to really finally try the new lip or whatever. So I also went to over to the blush the blush the the blush section to find a blush because I can't go anywhere without trying to pick up a new blush. So I did go ahead and pick up this color and it's called pinch me and this is a sheer tone blush and it looks like this so this is like a peachy um, coral color it's really really pretty I can't wait to try this because I'm always in like the um, like the purple blush I always wear fever that's my favorite blush and that's kind of like a plum plum blush so I wanted to kind of try something different so I'm going to swatch this to show you how that will look and that how it looks on me again this is a sheer tone blush so really really pretty blush and that is all I got from Mac so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I got from Ulta here's the bag I got a bag of goodies so I'm going to go ahead and dive right in the bag and the first thing I see that's sticking out is the NYX Illuminator. Um, this is a highlighter and I am going to show you how this looks if I can open it. Sheesh. And it looks kind of pink in the pan so when you swatch it, when you swatch it and kind of rub it in and um, you get like this golden golden color it's really really pretty so I'm sw I swatched it on my hand and now I'm just kinda rubbing it in and um, blending it in and you'll get this golden golden use ooh that's so pretty so I am so excited to try this highlighter initially I wanted to try the Becca highlighter if one it's $38 and I cannot pay that right now and then two they were out of it yesterday anyway so I wasn't too sad about it so this is a really really alternative for me right now really good art yeah, this is a really good alternative for me right now but I am going to be still eyeing that Becca highlighter but this is a really good highlighter for me right now and I will be trying this out really 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 soon I also got a um, this shine killer from NYX and this was recommended by my friend to try since I do have like those oily breakouts in the middle of the day when I um, wear my makeup and it says it's professional 
uh, potion to eliminate the look of oil and shine so face stays matte and fresh all day so I am very very excited to use this because I hate when I get those oil breakouts in the middle of the day they do not look good so I'm very very excited to use that also from NYX, I, I, I noticed when I got home, I picked up a lot of NYX items that wasn't on purpose. I just, I don't know, maybe I just love NYX, but, and it wasn't having a sale, so I don't know why I picked up so many NYX items. But anyway, I did go ahead and pick up this NYX Jumbo pen Pencil in the color Milk. Now, I know you've seen this a lot, a lot on YouTube, and I have too. That's one reason why I did pick it up, because everybody and their mama used this to prime their eyes as and use it as a base for eyeshadows. And it does make your eyeshadows pop a little bit more when you use this first. So I am so excited to use this. I am so excited. This has been a long, long time coming. This has been on my wish list for forever, and I haven't got a chance to pick it up. I am so happy that I finally picked it up. So I am so excited again to use this and then I also picked up this glitter now I am getting ready to go to a um, formal event in a couple weeks or next week actually and I wanted to do kind of like a glitter just a little glitter on my eyes to kind of be kind of dramatic for the event so I picked up this NYX um what is this liquid crystal liner in the color gold and it looks like this and when I um when I did go ahead and um, try it when I got home just a little bit and the glitter is, I mean it's a great product like when you put it on you know you can see the glitter is not too glittery it's not um you know it's just enough glitter for me and I swatched it right here I think this will be a great, great product for me, and I am excited to do my little, my little glitter look, and I will be doing a get ready with me video when I do go to my formal event, so watch out for that video. I also picked up from NYX a butter lipstick, and this is in the color Hunk, and this is a, um, I think this is a dupe for Max Rebel. Let me show you how this look. If you have Max Rebel, um, do you will see how similar this looks? Let me swatch that for you. This looks so much like Max Rebel. Rebel. I was like kind of mad because I don't want two of the same lipsticks, but I guess I'll try it. But I don't know. Like this look, and I when I got home, I did swatch Rebel right next to it, and it looks totally the same to me. So I don't know. I'm kind of mad that I picked that up because I already have a lipstick that looks like this, and I don't want two of a kind in my collection. I don't need all that. So. I will just use it and maybe I will take it back and get another one because it looks so much like Max Rebel. So another thing that I got from, I think I got another NYX, NYX, yep I do, I have a butter gloss and this is in the color Sugar Cookie and it smells so good. Hmm, smells so good and I'm going to swatch it for you just a little bit. It's like a pink pink lip gloss. This looks so pretty and I'm so excited to wear this. So, so excited. So, and it smells so good. Oh my gosh. Mm, I love smells. That smells so, so good. So, I'm so excited to wear that. Also, I picked up, uh, I went to the L'Oreal section and I picked up um, two L'Oreal Infallible um, eyeliners. First, I picked up the one, it's like the smoky one. And this is the powder eyeliner pen, and this is in the color black smoke. And this is supposed to like give you that smoky eye look when you are um, outlining your waterline. You don't have to smudge it because it says no smudging needed to give you that smoky look. So this is already supposed to give you when you apply it a smoky look. So I'm excited to try this. And then also I picked up the Infallible Never Fail Liquid Eyeliner in the color black. And this is a 12 hour, it says the super, the super slim 12 hour. So I will love to give this a try. And also I think this says, yep, this says 14 hour, the smudge one. So I'm excited to give this a try as well because I hate when I put eyeliner on my waterline and it's, it, I, bleh, at the end of the day, it's like it's all gone and it's all smudged off or something like that. So I'm excited to try those. 
And then the last thing I picked up from Ulta is a Maybelline, um, Maybelline um, nail color. And this is pretty. I um, just saw it and I think I can wear this like in the spring or something like that. And this is in the color Shocking Seas. Yeah. Shock, shocking Seas. Yeah. And this is like a blue color. Again, I probably wear this in the spring or I wear it right now. Who cares? I don't really care about the color theme. Winter, we have to, I don't care. I wear it right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys. I went to Target, like I said, and then I also went to um, Walmart. So this is the bag from Target, and I think I threw the Walmart bag away. So I just um, combined all the products that I picked up at Walmart and Target into one bag. So I'm going to show you um, I, the first thing that I picked up, which is a mascara. And then this is the Maybelline Volume Express Mascara, the Falsies. And this is in the color very black. It's very black and very intense. And the reason why I picked up this is uh, mainly because to apply it to my bottom eyelashes because they are so small and it's so hard to really get that product down there to kind of make them stand out. So I'm hoping because it says the falsies and it's supposed to make your um, eyelashes look like you have false eyelashes on maybe it will work for my bottom lash I don't know I haven't tried it yet so I'm very excited about trying this and the next thing I see here sticking out here is a blending brush I did go ahead and try it that's why it's open so I went ahead and tried it and I love this blood I love this brush I needed a blending brush because I'm, I'm tired of my eyeshadows looking unblended so I picked up this blood this brush and this brush was only about six dollars and this is the lab to live in breathe beauty brand this is how the packaging looks and I picked this up at Walmart again this is only six dollars and it's a nice it's a nice brush it seems to work nice and when I used it today to blend out my shadows it worked really well so I am so excited to add this to my makeup collection Okay, the next, I got, also went to e.l.f., well, the e.l.f. section, and I picked up another blush, brush, and this is the concealer brush, and this is how it looks, so I did need this also in my collection to, I can do a lot of things with this brush, you can do contouring, you can apply your concealer, you can blend out your concealer, you can also apply like powder to the bottom here. So I this blu this brush will be used for many many different functions. Okay, let's see. And then I also went over to the wedding wild section and I picked up a palette and it looks like this. And this this side is right here is what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. If you can see, I really really love Wet n Wild palettes. They are so nice. The color payoff is so so nice, and I like it because they give you well they tell you like where to use the colors. Like right here it says brow bone. Here it says like the eyelid color. They give you a crease color and then they give you a definition color. It says definer. But it's like that definition color, the one you put in your, your out of V area. So I am so excited to do more looks with this, more looks with this um, palette. And this is the Comfort Zone palette. Again, it looks like this. And I think this was only about five bucks. So it's a really good price. And you get eight, eight shadows for five dollars. You cannot beat that at all. So then I also picked up... Let's see. I picked up this concealer, the Maybelline, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I've heard a lot about this concealer comparing it to the Nars Radiant Radiant Concealer. And I initially wanted, also wanted that concealer, but concealer is like thirty dollars, and I didn't want to pay that pay thirty dollars for a concealer right now. So I just picked up this because this was a lot of people were saying this was a dupe for the NARS Radiant Concealer. And so far, I like it. I did use it today for my under eye. And this is like uh, two shades lighter than my skin tone. So I really like it. That's what I bought it for, is to like kind of highlight with it and stuff like that. 
And then also from Wet n Wow, I got this liquid lip color. And this color, um, I did I thought this was a lip gloss at first. And it's actually what I'm wearing now. It's a nude color. I really like the color. But I, I was looking for like a lip gloss and when I put it on, it goes on wet and then it dries like really, really matte. So if you're, if you want to um, use this or thinking about purchasing it, make sure you really hydrate and moisturize your lips before you put this on because it is so, so matte. And this is the Wet n Wild Mega Last um, Liquid Colors, Liquid Lip Color. So, and this is in the color... I can bear it all so yeah like I said this it, dry, it goes on liquid and it dries matte and I wasn't prepared for that so my lips were it got really chapped so I had to put on Harry put, put on some lip balm and then reapply it because it got really really matte so but all of our overall I really love this color I, I've been loving wet and wild products for a while because they are so affordable and the you get a, a great call some great quality for the products so I really love their products and then I also picked up a blush from NYX. Again, I cannot go anywhere, no, no cosmetic counter without picking up a blush. And it looks like this. This is also a really pretty color, and this is in the color Peach. I'll try to do a swatch for you. NYX, and this is also what I have on right now, if you can see. And this is a really, really pretty color as well. Yeah, so really pretty color and also the last things I'm going to show you are just nail colors that I picked up and the first one I will show you is the Nicole by OPI nail color and it's oh this color is so so pretty when I oh I cannot wait to put this on my nails is this the color em emerald empowered so pretty let me tell, oh, I cannot wait to put this on my nails. It's like this, it's kind of metallic looking, bluish. Oh, it's so, it's so pretty. Cannot wait to try. I might put this on my nails today, actually. And then I got the OPI, Nicole by OPI um, top coat because I needed this to put on my nails as well because I do do my own nails now. And I need that shine, that top coat. So I just decided to pick this up. And then I also picked up a nail color from Walmart, another Maybelline color, and this is in the color Wine and Forever, and it looks like that. So really, really pretty, pretty color. Okay, that is all I picked up from MAC, Ulta, Target, and Walmart. And if you've liked this video, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I really appreciate you from taking the time to watch and um, commenting. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. Until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.